Imco Recycling Inc., a New York Stock Exchange listed company, presents The Dynamic Worlds of Aluminum and Zinc. At the time of aluminum's discovery in the 1850s, Charles Dickens wrote, What do you think of a metal as white as silver, as unalterable as gold, as easily melted as copper, as tough as iron, which is malleable, ductile, and with the singular quality of being lighter than glass? Such a metal does exist, and in considerable quantities on the surface of the globe. The advantages to be derived from a metal endowed with such qualities are easy to be understood. Aluminum's future place as a raw material in all sorts of industrial applications is undoubted. Aluminum has indeed fulfilled Dickens' prophecy and is now the world's second most widely used metal employed in thousands of different products. New uses for aluminum are constantly being invented while the technology of the industry is continually being improved to meet new needs. Aluminum has become the material of choice for so many different industries because of its light weight, outstanding strength to weight ratio, high residual value, resistance to corrosion, and other desirable qualities. But its greatest advantage is sustained recyclability. Aluminum can be processed again and again without material decline in performance or quality. And recycled aluminum performs as well as primary metal in most applications. Most importantly, recycled aluminum provides savings of 95% in energy usage, thus reducing the overall impact of aluminum production on the environment. In fact, America's recycling efforts and the industry's reclamation system lower the total amount of energy used in U.S. aluminum production by 46%. And the use of recycled metal in product manufacturing prevents the emission of 13 tons of carbon dioxide for every ton of metal used. Aluminum recycling also creates savings of 90% in capital and labor costs and does not require the use of bauxite and other natural resources. Because of these benefits, U.S. production of recycled aluminum has nearly doubled over the last two decades. And similar increases have occurred in the world's major industrial regions. Over this same period, the share of total U.S. aluminum supply provided by recycled metal has increased from 29% to 30% of a much larger market. The three major in-use markets for aluminum are transportation, containers and packaging, and building and construction. Together they account for some 75% of consumption. Transportation has become the largest and fastest growing market for aluminum because of continuing increases in the use of metal in autos, light trucks, other vehicles and their components. This powerful trend is occurring because high volume substitution of lightweight aluminum for traditional materials is a key to maintaining vehicle size while increasing fuel efficiency and decreasing emissions, thus helping to address global environmental concerns. Aluminum shipments for auto and light truck manufacturing nearly tripled between 1991 and 2002 as vehicle production rose and the average amount of aluminum used per unit increased from 166 pounds to 274 pounds. This average is expected to rise to 350 pounds by 2007, while similar gains occur in the Japanese and European auto industries. Numerous high-volume vehicles use more than the average amount of aluminum. The GMC Envoy and the Ford Explorer are among the most aluminum-intensive vehicles on the market, containing about 400 pounds of the metal per unit. The Audi A8, which holds a perfect five-star government crash test rating, is all aluminum as is the 70 mile per gallon Honda Insight, the most fuel efficient car in the U.S. The new Jaguar XJ amply demonstrates the advantages of greater use of aluminum in vehicles. 
It is wider, longer, and taller than its predecessor, but the XJ is 440 pounds lighter because of its unibody structure manufactured predominantly of aluminum sheet. The metal is also used in the car's hood, doors, fenders, and trunk lid. About 65% of the aluminum used in autos is recycled metal sourced from both new and old scrap, and over 90% of the aluminum in end-of-life vehicles is recovered. While aluminum represents less than 10% of the weight of the average vehicle, it accounts for half of the total scrap value. The widespread popularity of aluminum beverage cans is the principal reason why containers and packaging has become a large and stable market for the metal. Since their introduction about three decades ago, these containers have captured virtually all of the U.S. beverage can market. Annual shipments have reached about 100 billion units. The aluminum can's easy recyclability creates significant energy savings and high redemption value compared with that of competing materials. In recent years, about 60% of all aluminum cans produced have been recycled and individuals, charities, and municipal recycling programs earn almost $1 billion per year for their collection of cans and other aluminum scrap. The aluminum industry is committed to recycling every can that is produced. As part of this commitment, the industry helps Habitat for Humanity International establish community-wide recycling programs, in which money earned from aluminum can recycling goes directly to the building of homes for families in need. Like aluminum, zinc can be recycled indefinitely without losing any of its physical or chemical properties, making it a valuable resource to be used over and over again. Zinc is the world's fourth most widely used metal. Over 30% of total zinc supply comes from recycled metal, and about 80% of the zinc available for processing is recycled. The most important use of zinc is in galvanizing of steel to prevent corrosion. In fact, Zinc galvanizing increases the life of steel by a factor of five. According to the Battelle Memorial Institute, the annual direct cost of corrosion of steel in the U.S. infrastructure and industry is $350 billion, 35% of which could be avoided through the use of existing galvanizing technologies. The galvanizing process creates residue, top and bottom dross, and skimmings, which, along with other zinc-bearing materials and primary metal, are recycled and used in manufacturing of value-added products used in a wide variety of markets. IMCO is the world's largest recycler of aluminum and zinc, operating over 20 processing facilities in the nation's major industrial regions. Over the past decade, the company's processing capability has risen about fourfold because of our commitment to superior technology, product quality, and customer service. This emphasis has increased market share and allowed us to build new facilities, expand existing plants, and carry out strategic acquisitions. Much of our processing volume is supplied under long-term contracts with leading manufacturers of automobiles and their components, aluminum can sheet, building, and other products. High rates of metal recovery and timely delivery of products that fully meet technical specifications are critically important to these customers. We meet these requirements through the continual improvement of scrap preparation equipment and processes, as well as recycling furnace technologies. In many cases, we locate our facilities adjacent to large customer plants, like this one owned by Commonwealth Aluminum and integrate our production systems with theirs in order to improve service and productivity. At these and other locations, we supply our customers through just-in-time delivery of molten metal by customized trucks. This delivery method lowers energy and capital expense and further improves customer productivity by reducing melt loss. About 80% of our aluminum processing capability can be delivered in molten form.